Hi friends, welcome to Azure Video Tutorials. This session I am going to explain you about uh, Azure Data Factory activity types. So there we can use a uh, multiple activity types. So I am going to explain you few activity types in this video. That's called uh, delete activity where if we have uh, delete deleting a source files or archiving a files, so we can use this delete activity. There is another activity type called uh, get metadata so when you are processing your pipelines so you can first verify your source whatever you have a using source uh, file so you can use that get metadata so i'm going to create a new pipeline here adf so first if you go to general there you can find the activity types okay so there are uh, these are below available activity types in azure uh, version 2 i am going to explain you about uh, delete here you can see delete is available and there is another option called get metadata so if you drag and drop here so what this will do before running your pipeline so it will validate it will validate your source file metadata if it is available or not if it is available you will it will get succeed and it will proceed for next steps and uh, there is another one called delete so if you want to use a delete files in our before creating any files if you want to delete any files you can use a delete then uh, go to move and transform i'm going to use copy activity so this is the three activity times i'm going to use so first get metadata if you go to here there is a data set option and you can select your source data set so i'm going to give you this i have already created a few data sets it's a employee source and this data set is pointing to my azure storage account if you go to my storage accounts i have created one folder that's a container that container having a files in source container i'm having a two files employee and department so i have created these two files as a data set source data sets that's called employee source so if you click on this you can identify that in connections that's a azure blob storage and in source folder this file is employee file then that's called get metadata so i want to get a metadata for that you need to give any fields here so there are available options here you can see see you can use there's a different uh, parameters or you can say different uh, fields uh, this item name this source of folder name or file name whatever you are giving here that's called item name item type last modified and the size and exist column count i'm going to use a column count to test this how it's working or not then you can create a new and i'm going to use item name so this two arguments i'm going to use there's a field list or you can say columns then i'm giving connection to if it is success i want to process next this one so that's called delete activity so this delete activity what this will do if we go to source here you need to specify the data set okay i want to delete that before creating a target file i need to delete that file if already exists then you can go for while wildcard file name if you are going for wildcard file name but default i'm going for recursively okay that is if any folders or folders like any subfolders or files are not available that will be deleted this called i'm using and delete if it is success i'm going to add this to copy activity so this is if you right click here you can see this if it is this is the activity types this is a success or failure or status you can say flow control this is the flow control you can enable okay if it is success it will go to next step 
then copy activity what I am doing I'm copying data from my blob to Azure data lake so I'm giving here source data set is my employee source and there I'm going to use here sync that's a target as employee target this is the target file it I'm going to create here so remaining options I'm not using any all this option because the copy behavior other options so just to explain this is the activity types called get metadata and delete activities so those will be available in your general those you can use if you drag and drop from here to there then so validate so uh, select link services for logging delete activity so here if you go to delete there is an option called logging so logging means so we if you select this default it will be enabled so you need to provide where you want to create the log file so i'm going to create a log file in my in any of this data sets you can select this blob storage and the folder path sorry not blob storage data lake store I um, have a separate folder called uh, logs so here I'm going to create a logs it's called logging enable so whatever it is deleted it will be created loggings in this folder so then you can revalidate so there is no errors you can save this it's called publish all I'm going to publishing everything then once you get a published everything then you can use the debug option to run this and meanwhile we can verify in a data lake a target location so there is no files actually then you can click on debug so session has been started so it will start from here first then succeeded second delete then succeeded then copy activity okay this now you can go to here and verify the file is available or not okay this file is available then first get metadata okay if you go to your debug here you can see this input and output output you can see here item name is a file name and the column count is 8 so this is out get metadata it is getting whatever we are given fields so we given a two fields one is a item name and a column count so in this file total eight columns are available and the file name is emp.csv then delete so so here you can see a uh, uh, folders are deleted one and the type delimited text and the recursive is true and the data set name is this one so we given this data set because if any file is available i want to delete that okay and the execution duration and uh, you can see one second one millisecond let's go to your copy activity and you can verify this details job which file has been created from your blob storage to azure data lake total execution time and uh, start time okay then in delete we have we have enabled this enable logging right so if you go to your logging folder it should be created one log folder and should create one file like this okay so this is logging whatever we have given here then if you click on any of the object or you can say activity type there is a red color if it is displaying here right so means if you click on this if you click on this if you go for debugging it will start from first activity and it will 
finish until this wherever you have enable this so this debug debug until means so it will start from here and it will end here so it won't be debug this last activity whichever it is available so if you enable last one okay so this activity will be executed until here so and it will stop here because there is no objects after that there is no activities after that that's why i'm explaining uh, one of the example how to enable this okay then i'm going to validate there's no box then debug so what will happen if we enable this the debug will be executed from beginning until this step this this activity see here and it will be ignored the next activity because we enable this debug until this so this option will be available all the activities whatever you are using in this area this work area see here it is succeeded and it is not executed third step okay what will happen if you select this first one i'm going to debug it again so first step started and finished so it is started and it is finished because we enable this debug until this activity okay if you disable this what will happen it will continue next activity same thing for it will continue for next activity so like this we can enable and disable this debug activity wherever if we have a more activities in your workflow then in this pipeline you can start enabling that and you can work on debugging okay like this we can go for using the options in a pipeline uh, this is all the activities where in general tab here you can find get metadata and delete there are some other activities like executing pipelines and there are lookup stored procedure set variable okay those are available i will give you another session so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much